Hello everybody and everybody else. My name is ScriptCat and this is ScriptCat Says. On this channel we take a look at First Amendment auditors, sovereign citizens, cop watchers, cop baiters, and Karens from a slightly different angle. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I read every comment I receive and appreciate every one of them. You all have given me many great ideas. Keep your eye on the channel. You might see one of your suggestions come to life. Hello everybody and everybody else. Welcome to those who are new to my channel. Welcome back to those who have been here before. My name is ScriptCat and this is ScriptCat Says. A look at sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, Moors, cop watchers, and sometimes Karens from a slightly different angle. As the title indicates, today we're going to look at the condescending attitude of every single one of those who believe it is their God-given right to disrupt any and all situations they find or put themselves into. Let's start with the definition. Condescend. To do something that one regards as beneath one's social rank or dignity. Lower oneself. Synonym stoop. To behave in a patronizing or superior manner towards someone. To stoop or descend, to let oneself down, to submit, to waive the privilege of rank or dignity, to accommodate oneself to an inferior. Now let's watch that definition in action. At church circle, a lady Carolyn was very ignorant towards me. Uh, she attempted to call deputies. How you doing, sir? I'll continue this one moment. How you doing? I'm here to see the county attorney. I need to drop some documents off to the county attorney. No, I was sent over here from the state's attorney. Your name? Uh, I'd rather not give that, sir. You have some documents from the county attorney and you're from the state's attorney, and that's all you're telling me. I don't work for the state's attorney. The state's attorney told me that I needed to come here to file these documents, sir. Good night. Good night. Okay. Not sure what you're being ignorant for. So anyway, Carolyn Grammis, state's attorney, attempted to call the sheriff deputies on me and remove me from the public lobby because she didn't want to help me or give me any help. Luckily, the sheriffs came there and educated her that as long as I'm not breaking any laws, I can come into public property and do what I need to do as long as I'm not doing anything wrong. She can't trespass me. She's not allowed to do that. It's public property. So thankfully, Sergeant Kish at the sheriff's department let them know and educated them on how things go. What's up? Are you finished on your phone? I'm not on my phone, sir. Well, whatever you're doing, are you finished? Can you listen now? Yeah, I guess. Okay. What do you... They said to have a seat, and they'll see what they can do. Okay. So have a seat. Okay. All right. Smart I'm guy. sorry? Smart guy. Why, am I, why are you calling me smart guy? Why do you have an attitude? Well, sir, respectfully, sir, you asked for my name before you even got on the phone with them, so they didn't want my name, you did. Okay. Because I wanted to tell them, because I know you're I know, words. but that's, that's fine, but why are you getting upset with me, sir? That's okay. Have a good day. Why is everyone so rude? I wasn't rude to you, sir. I've called you sir. Why are you calling me smart guy? Can you identify yourself, sir? No, you don't want to give me your name, but you're working in a public capacity, right? Sir, please, I have nothing to say to you, okay? Okay. Can you identify yourself? Hello, Good. Not sure what the issue was. Yeah, there's a gentleman down here. He's from the state's department. Yeah, I was told to go to the fourth floor, sir. Do I have to have an appointment to go upstairs? Do I have to have an appointment to go upstairs, or what's the issue here? Would you like, would you like to tell him that? Okay. This is the county attorney. Would you like to speak to him? Uh, no, I'd rather not be on the phone, sir. He doesn't want to get you. He doesn't want to talk on the phone. That, phone, that phone's been near your ear. I don't know how, you know what I mean? I don't know what kind of germs you have, sir. Okay, I'm, I'm going to relay a message from the county attorney that uh -huh. does not want you in this office. Okay, well, luckily... You have no business in this office. I have business in this office, and luckily his wants don't trump my rights, sir. Something about his rights. Let me see the phone, then. 
Go ahead and put it on speakerphone. Who wants to speak to you now? Uh, you can put it on speakerphone and I'll talk to him. that button yep all right sir are you there uh yes who is this uh yeah well i you, you'll you'll get my name when i come up there and file the paperwork sir i was sent here from the state's attorney's office to drop some paperwork off i was told by carolyn Grammis to come over here to the heritage center at 2660 reaver road to the fourth floor and to drop off some paperwork that's what i was told to do sir okay well i think you're in error because there's no paperwork that's dropped off here Okay, well, I was told that I drop off my letter of intent to sue here at the at, at your guys' office, sir, at the county attorney's office, so. You're, you're welcome to mail that to us, or you can leave it at the front desk there. Oh, so now there is paperwork that gets dropped off here, sir. Well, you've told me it's a, a notice of intent to sue, and that's correct. Yeah. And, and Okay, so well, two seconds ago, you tried to say, regardless, sir, you tried to say that you didn't want me here. Luckily, your wants don't trump my rights to come in and have the same public, they have the same public accessibility that every other private citizen does, sir. Every other private citizen has the right to this, so therefore I do as well. Just because you don't want me here, just because Carolyn called down here and told you that I was coming and you don't want me here, doesn't mean that you can't let me do what I need to do, sir. I have legal business here, and if you stop me from that, then I will be filing one more of these and dropping it off at your office as well. Now again, I was told I was told that I can come to the fourth floor. I'm sorry. You're welcome to leave that, leave the notice of intent with the gentleman there. Well, sir, I need this to be I, I need this to be stamped and returned to me. I can't just leave it here. I need a stamped copy and returned to me. Uh, no, it, it's fine to leave it there. No, I need a stamped copy and return because I need a copy from my record, sir. I need stamped copy and return, so I need proof that you guys received it, and I need my copy back. Thank you very much, sir. You can speak to whoever you want What's to, sir. Him? Here, I'll take it off speaker since he doesn't know how. Smart guy. Fucking dumbass. Okay, let me ask you a question, sir. Put him back on speakerphone. Now, sir, this is the county attorney's office, right? This is public property, right? This is, this, this is owned by the county. This is a government building. This is public property, correct? You're welcome to leave that notice of intent there. No, sir. I need it stamped. I need it stamped to be. I need it stamped, verified, and returned to me, sir. Uh, as I said, I'm not, I'm do you guys have a lobby? Do you guys have a lobby up there, sir? Giving you an answer. Sir, do you guys have a lobby upstairs? Uh, thanks for your. You know, I understand what you're saying. And you don't. You're not answering the question, sir. Do you have a lobby upstairs? Is there a waiting area upstairs? Okay, I'm not gonna say I keep arguing with you. Sir, is there some sort of law that like prohibits me from going upstairs or what is the issue? I have no idea. Okay, all right. You can't go upstairs, sir. For why? Sir, you can't go upstairs. Again, I just asked you, you can't what- go upstairs, but, it's a county where they told me- Okay, sir, me. this is public property. I was told to come down here by the state's attorney. Just because he doesn't want me here, sir, doesn't mean that I can't drop off the letters and I'm, I'm here to drop off, sir. There's a way to do this, sir. Yeah, this is good. Ma'am, is this office over here open to the public? This office right here, the, the public comes in here and does stuff. Does, does the public conduct some sort of business in this office? Okay, thank you. That's, that's all I need to know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, so unfortunately, sir, the lady over there just confirmed that the public does come into this building and do business here, so I don't have to stay here at this well, little he, check-in. Was his personnel, and now he's going to go Yep. Because I have the right to do this like everybody else does, sir. The original plan for this video was to compile snippets from various videos to illustrate the belittling attitude the people we look at have. However, once I saw this video, I was aghast to find that the entire substance of it was nothing but condescension. The mental energy required to maintain this attitude is astounding. But as Dr. Dave the Beer Professor says, this is how narcissistic sociopaths operate. <laughs> Yeah.
saying, sir. I'm just trying to gain access to this public lobby so I can drop some forms off. You can drop them off with me. Okay, but this this office is open to the public right here. This lobby, correct? Yeah, it's. I just want to I just want to confirm that this all this, this lobby. For, can you identify yourself, sir, since you made contact with me? Hamilton F. Tyler, Deputy County Attorney. Awesome. So this this lobby right here is open to the public because I can see the sign says to ring. Okay. Well, the, the purpose of this being it's not open. The office is not open. To the public. Yeah, I have legal business here, sir. Yeah. You, you want to drop something off, and I'm welcome to. That's welcome fine, to but I need that. to sit down in this office and finish filling out my papers. I have the right to do no, that, no, no, sir. This not, is public you're property. Kind of you're, you're not allowed to drop something off. No, I'm allowed to sit here in this public lobby you're and fill not. it out, sir. We just had this talk down there at the courthouse. You're Carolyn Grom is down there at the courthouse, just got educated. You feel free to do whoever, or call whoever you want, do if whatever you, you got to do, sir. Off, you hey, do I will. That. I'm going to come in. I'm going to open no, my. Not gonna fill I'm going to open, here. sir. This is a public lobby. I'm going to open my file folder. I'm going to get my files out. I'm going to organize them. I'm going to finish filling them out, and I'm going to turn them in. They're going to be stamped dated and returned to me the okay, way it's supposed to for what you have. just you because have carolyn it. called you, you guys and told you that i was coming down here and you don't want me here doesn't mean that you can refuse service to me to this I'm public gonna lobby you. i'm going to take what you have i know and i'm going to come in so you're not and i'm going to so, again not why are you refusing me service to this building sir it, this is not, a public we're, lobby we're sir not your office you're right. I'm not. I don't need an so you're office, sir. To drop that off you're, or mail. Well, it. Actually, that. sir, I'm a member of the public, and if this is a public lobby, no, then yes, it is my office, office, sir. It is not your office. Yes, it is, sir. So I'm happy to take what you have if you have it. If not, sir, can I speak to your supervisor, please? Can I speak to your supervisor, please, sir? No, you may not. Can I speak to your supervisor, I'm please, the sir? County attorney, so okay. There's obviously somebody ahead of you, sir. So there's obviously can, somebody ahead of you, sir. You can drop off what you need or leave. No, sir. I'm not leaving. Okay. I'm not. I'm going to come in, I'm going to open my folder, I'm going to organize my documents, so and I'm going to fill them out the way they need to be. You no, your you're right. I'm going to use it as a public lobby, lobby because that's what it is, sir. I'm going to no, use it for not, its intention, this sir. This not I'm going to use it for its intended purposes, sir. Uh, no, the lobby is not The lobby is open to the public, sir. It's open to the public, this sir. This it's open to the public, public sir. For the public. You're right. The offices aren't public, but this lobby is, sir. This lobby is. Yes, it is, sir. It is not. Yes, it is, sir. I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, you're right. There's, you, like you, to, don't you don't have an like argument, sir. Off, you're right. You don't have an argument, sir. You don't have an argument, sir. This lobby is open to the public, sir. Sir, it's stop. A, Please don't touch no, me, sir. No, you're touching me. Sir, you're touching I'm me. I'm trying to door. open this door and go into this public lobby. Please don't touch me again, sir. I didn't touch you. You did. You please don't touch in, me again. Not come in here. Please don't obstruct my. Please don't obstruct my walkway. Business. I do have business here, sir, and I told you multiple times I have business here. You do not. I do. I, just because you don't think I have business here, or you don't want me to have business here, doesn't mean I don't have business here, sir. You can call Carolyn down there at the district no, no. court. I'm sorry, the circuit court, and see I how this just went for her, I sir. What you're, saying, you're not understanding what I'm saying. You want to give me. No, I'm going to come into this public lobby and do what I need to do, sir. Just because you think that I can't come in here doesn't mean that I can't come in here. And because you don't want me in here doesn't mean that I can't come in here, sir. If it was a private office, then you're right. I couldn't come in here. But this lobby right here is open to the public. Your offices are not. I can't go back in your office and sit there and record you sitting there with your thing. But I can come into this public lobby if I need to, sir. Yes, I can. That's how it works, sir. No. Sir, that's not how it works. This lobby is open to the public. I have the right to come in and organize my paperwork and drop it off the same way every other private citizen does, sir. You do not have the right to just deny me of that service. All right. Give me a minute. No, there's no minute, sir. Right there's no minute, sir. So I'm coming in and sitting down. Mask when I came out here, that's which fine. I need, which I need to go put on. You can do whatever you want, right. sir. So you do whatever you want, sir. I'm gonna, no, you, right you can close the door, but I'm going to be on that side of it, sir. Are you going to be on that side? No, I'm going to be on that side of it right. and sitting down in that chair. You can call whoever you want, sir. Again, this is a public lobby, sir. This lobby right here is open to the public. They come here and they get help. Right, sit, down, sit down and do whatever you like. These people get no, help from the county sit attorney's down, office. I am, like. sir, and I'll do it at my own leisure. I'll do it at my own leisure. Okay. You're not going to sit in here. First off, I don't need an appointment to come in here, sir. I don't need an appointment to drop off the paperwork that I am, sir. Let's get that straight. I don't need an appointment to drop off any paperwork here. You don't, I, sir, you work for the public. I don't need your consent. There's no expectation of privacy in public, sir. Don't leave there. This is a First Amendment protected activity, sir. I'm going to get my mask. You can get your mask. You can get your manager. You can get whatever you want, sir. I'm fine. You can get the National Guard if you want to. Because unfortunately, you're wrong, sir. Hamilton, great name, sir. You're wrong. This gentleman's tyrannical behavior and his attempts to humiliate the assistant county attorney went on for several more minutes punctuated by dead air and his obligatory cursing, mostly to himself. 
The video ended abruptly, so it's not known if police were called. This courthouse is home to three tyrannical judges, all of which whom are going to lose their qualified immunity and be prosecuted and sued. That's right. They are going to lose their qualified immunity and they are going to be sued and they're going to be paying for the damages they've done to my daughter's life, my, my son's, my three, four son's lives, and, and my life and that of my, my wife's life. Uh, and we're going to hold the police and marshals responsible involved in this giant nightmare as well. But, uh, hey, do you mind holding this door for me? No, you can't bring your bicycle in here. I can't? No. Why not? It's worth like $2,500. It's not safe outside. I'll leave it here in the foyer then. So here we are, off to a great start. We got more round number one and more round number two over here. Business. This won't make it through the metal detector. Well, unfortunately, you can't record in the building, you know that. I can, it's my first amendment right, and unless there's a signed order by the judge that prohibits access to publicly accessible areas in recording. I've already called the state police, so if okay. you want to call them, you can. They're going to tell you the same thing. We've been through this already. You need a mask to be in the building? <clears throat> oh, I have a mask. It's right here. Yeah, I got a mask. I'll let you violate that right. But uh, I did call state police, and right, they are well, aware we're of what I'm You can't come in recording. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. The First Amendment says I can, and if you're going to try to stop me, you're going to have a serious problem. If there's no signed order by a judge that restricts that, then I have full free range to walk into any publicly accessible area of this courthouse and film my officials in the course of their official duties. That's what the law says. If you guys want to challenge that, that's fine, but ultimately I'm going to end up coming inside. I'm going to be using your database and inspecting records today. I'm going to be asking the clerk some questions, and I'm going to create adjective record for the news story. But, uh, how are you, sir? Very well. Sir, you're not allowed to film in here. I can, I, I can film. I've already talked sir? to state police. I've talked to an attorney. I know Step what my up. rights are. I, I, I'm well within my rights. I'm not doing anything illegal here. I'm just Step here to inspect some records today. I've already Step called out. state police. Let them know that I'm going to be here and that the marshals Step need to be out. educated on the law. Step <coughs> yeah, they know. I already called them before I came in here. But I'm trying to work with you. Just have a reasonable conversation with me. So I know what the laws are. I'm well aware of what the laws are. It's much warmer in here. I'd rather you stand here. You okay. Would you like outside. to come to the foyer and speak with me? You can't record inside the building. I'm uh, asking you nicely. Uh, I'm, I'm stepping out, but are you restricting my access here, Sergeant Diaz? As of right now, yes. Yeah, as of right now, yes. Yeah. Because we need the state's police. We need state police permission to inspect public records and film in publicly accessible areas of our, of our state. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You're in. No, I'm not blocking anything. Excuse me. Oh, I was talking to this. I was talking to this gentleman. Just wait out there. Sorry, well, I asked you a question. Just can you just wait out there? We'll be with. I am waiting out here. I was just asking you a question. Yeah, there you go. Connecticut's finest. Public property is government owned, but not all government owned properties have the same free speech rights. The courts consider public parks, streets, and sidewalks a public forum, the town square. But other public property, where the business of government takes place, is not considered public forums. If you believe Mr. Tyrant Slayer here, the DA or the ADA, quote, took one look at my video and threw the case out, unquote. Now, if you listen carefully to his live stream, where he was talking about this incident, first he said he thought the ADA probably more than likely, I'm quite sure, took a look at his video. Later, he changes that to he and the ADA watched the film in a private conference, I'm sure, together, and she agreed it was a horrible desecration of his rights and dismissed the case. Take that with however many grains of salt you need to suspend your disbelief. In any case, quote, the lawsuits will now commence, unquote. I sure hope you enjoyed this look at the condescension aspect of two very cringe, narcissistic sociopaths. If so, Please hit those like and subscribe buttons and make sure to ring the bell. Join me next week when we descend once again into the world of entitled individuals who make us all smack our heads.